Welcome back to part 2 of this battle against Frog Runner and General Sakura's tournament. If you haven't watched part 1, well, obviously I suggest you do that. <laughs> what are you doing watching this thing? And just on a random rant and side note, I fucking hate Audacity working with Windows 7. This is the second time I've had to narrate this battle, and the first time I had it all good, you know, narrated, ready to save the uh, audio file, and then I get the freaking message that says, oh, Windows has detected that Audacity has stopped working, and then I had to close the program and I couldn't even save the file that I did. So that just fucking sucked. Oi. Oi. But I digress. What can you do? That's the way computer programs work. I'll have to find a way to get Audacity to work better with Windows 7, maybe using the compatibility settings, but here I'm going off track, so let's go back to the battle. So yeah, anyway, the plan here was to just, uh, you know, use the same leads, same moves, try to recreate the same battle conditions as last time. So I go for the pursuit, and you know, the same moves. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. He's gonna go for the trick, I get the muscle um, band, and yeah, everything's looking good so far. He actually got, got a crit on the Surf though, which did not happen in part 1, so that's gonna kind of screw things up, screw our plan over, I mean, you know, stupid game, why can't you just let us do what we want? Jeez, what's wrong with you? This game really just wants to screw us up big time. Oh well, what can you do? So now, uh, I was just talking to him on Skype, you know, saying, hey, you know, we got a crit here, and I don't know, what should I do? Should I use Screech, just like I did last time, or should I go for the Wish? And then, well, he was like, well, you know, it's up to you what you want to do, because... And I was like, well, you know, I might as well go for the Screech, because that's what I did last time. And, um, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm being a cheap ass, taking advantage of certain circumstances and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I just go for the Screech, because I figured, well, I did that last time. Might as well keep it real, keep it together. Same thing like last time. <laughs> so, he goes for the, the other Surf, and at this point, I was like, okay, well, I Wish is the move that I did last time. So, again, trying to keep things similar like they were. I'm just going to go for the Wish again, and, you know... That's what I, uh, I'm going to do the next turn, actually, Pursuit. And by the way, that Crit Pursuit that I mentioned about in per Part 1, that actually did matter, as you can see, because the Starmie actually lived that with a slimmer of HP, with a sliver of HP, not a slimmer, what the hell is that mean? Oh, yeah, I can't talk properly, I think my throat is just tired from that first narration, so bear with me, people, bear with me. Go for the Wish now, just like I did last time, you know, trying to keep the moves the same, and he goes for the Surf and kills me. And that kind of sucks because <laughs> the next Pokemon I switch in is obviously not going to take advantage of the Wish because I'll have full HP and so I go into Gengar. Sneak Smile! And uh, this is the Gengar that x Square Sticker gave me like I mentioned in part 1 so uh, a big thank you to him for that. And um, I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball KO the Starmie since it is paralyzed I am faster so I can take that thing out. So at least for one Pokemon down a piece uh, each. One Pokemon down each and now he's going to switch in his Infernape. And, uh, yes, I do realize that thing is not scarfed now, so get off my ass, people. I know it's fucking not scarfed. Before, you guys were, like, commenting non-stop in part one, and like, hey, this Infernape is not scarfed because you used Swords Dance and Flare Blitz, and I know, I know, I made a mistake in my narration, and I realized that. I corrected myself in the video also, but no, you guys had to get all anal on my ass, so fuck you. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna go for the Shadow Ball, uh, you know, just like I did last time, but he is just, I mean, I don't know, at this point we were just like, you know, whatever, I don't know what we should do, we are just like, fuck it, let's just play it like we normally want to and see what happens, so I'm just gonna go for the move, just like I did last time. Uh, you know, just trying to keep it the same like it was before, I went for the Shadow Ball, he's obviously faster, um, probably because he does have max speed on his Infernape, and, uh, I do, well, I do have max speed on this, as far, I, at least I hope x Square put max speed on this, otherwise that'd be pretty ridiculous, and, um, Although he did mention it doesn't have a 31 speed IV in it, and uh, I don't know if it's modest or timid, probably modest, because otherwise I'm pretty sure it would have been able to outspeed the Infernape. So that just sucks for me, and Gengar once again does not do shit in this battle. <laughs> so I go into Dragonite now, and uh, this is my s mixed Scarf to Dragonite, a little bit, you know, in attack, uh, mostly in special attack, and then of course max speed with a Choice Scarf. It's pretty similar to the... Uh, Mixed Knight set on Smogan, I believe, except instead of using the Life Orb, I use a Choice Scarf. And I wasn't sure if he was going to switch it to Magnazone, expecting the Dragon Attack, so uh, I just went for the Super Power uh, to finish the Infernape off, or if he did go into Magnazone, Super Power would obviously do a chunk load to that thing, but he does keep the Infernape in, and uh, no complaints here. <laughs> I take that thing out, which is pretty nice, and uh, he's going to go now into his Togekiss. And this fucking thing is the bane of my existence. Oh my god, this Togekiss is going to give me the biggest fucking headache I've ever gotten in my entire life. I'm just going to get hacked to death by this thing, so I know a Thunder Wave is coming. Now the question is, you're probably wondering why did I switch to why didn't I switch to Swampert to take the Thunder Wave? Why did I go to Metagross? And that's a really good question. And uh, again, another Piopa plunder of uh, mine. I thought this Metagross had Gyro Ball, 
Well, sorry about that. If you heard that loud screeching sound, some asshole was probably like, do something with his car outside. My god, that sucks. Everybody's fucking screwing my narration. <laughs> so I thought I had Gyro Ball in this Metagross, and unfortunately, I have Meteor Mash. <laughs> I only updated with Gyro Ball and Hammer Arm, on, Hammer Arm on the DS version. So yeah, that was kind of a bad mistake on my part. But then again, Metagross can take the air slashes a bit better than Swampert, obviously, having the resistance being uh, Steel type. And yeah, Steel types are resisting, uh, resist can resist flying type attacks. So, oh, my throat is so dry. Damn it, I need water. Anyway, I digress. I need to keep on topic here. So what's happening? Yeah, I'm getting fucking flinched to death. That's what's happening. And uh, there's nothing I can do about it because, as you'll see, I will not be able to do a fucking move at all throughout this entire thing. And this hacks is definitely a big game breaker for me because Metagross and Gengar, well, they're the only things that could take on the explosion from Magnezone. Well, since Gengar is down, uh, Metagross was the only candidate left to take the explosion, and that is definitely not going to happen anymore. And Well, I could have switched out, but then again, I don't know what I have to take air slashes. Uh, I could have gone to Swampert, but, but then again, you know, that's the thing. My Swampert is a bit physically bulky, not special defensive bulky, and I don't know if I could take the air slashes as well as Metagross can. And I can't switch into anything else because he'll just thunder wave rolls and start doing the whole air fucking air slashing thing again and cutting me down to size and that will not be good either. But unfortunately, Metagross is not going to do shit in this battle and that is definitely going to screw me up. So now I went into Mill Tank for some fucking reason. I think I just had a brain fart where I was just getting really, really tired in this battle because I just thought, well, why would I bring in a Choice Scarf Mill Tank against a Togekiss that has fucking thunder wave? Pyopa, are you fucking insane? That's what you all are thinking, and yes, you'd be right, I think I was fucking insane in this battle. And uh, now I just realize, uh, yeah, I better switch to Swampert, because what the hell am I doing? So I switched to Swampert, and uh, he's gonna Thunder Wave, um, but that's obviously not going to affect Swampert, because he's part ground type. And as I mentioned in part one, you know, electricity does not affect ground types, if you guys know your basic physics. And I'm just gonna waterfall to get some damage on it. He's gonna air slash. Ooh, there's a little bit of lag. Oh shit, sorry. I don't know what happened with my recorder there. There wasn't any lag in part one as far as I know, but uh, things happen. So uh, yeah, um, I waterfall for some damage, which is good. Um, he's just going to air slash me, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. And he's going to go for the wish now, and here what his strategy was, obviously, is to wish off the damage I'm doing with waterfall, but I'm not going to fucking let him do that. No way. After all this hacks that I've brought in, I really have to come back in this battle, and I'm going to go for the roar, because now what's going to happen is I'm going to roar him out, He's not going to be able to get the wish off on Togekiss. All that damage I did is going to fucking stay where it should. And the next Pokemon he brings in won't be able to take advantage of wish because it has full HP. And what do you know? He brings in Magnezone. Ha ha ha. And uh, yeah, I know he's not going to Thunderbolt because I could just stay in. And he's not going to Magnet Rise because he knows that, uh, well, he knows I know that he has that move. So that's not going to work for him. He's just going to explode, and that's exactly what I am expecting him to do. And now the question is, who to sacrifice for the explosion? I mean, Swampert is a good wall, and my only wall in this case. Dragonite is a good Choice Scarf user, and so is uh, Miltank. But then again, I don't want to have two Choice Scarf users and not have a wall, because walls are pretty important in a battle. You know, you never know when you need them. And I really think Swampert is more useful than Miltank at this point, and I'm just going to switch to Miltank and uh, to sacrifice her to take the explosion because I think Dragonite is be Scarf Dragonite is better than Scarf Miltank, especially with the move pool on Dragonite. So alas, poor Miltank, you have to be sacrificed to the explosion. Miltank, oh! And uh, both of us go down and yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know, you gotta take one for the team like that sometimes. Pokemon is a deadly game sometimes, my friends. So he goes into Dusk Noir now, and I did not see that the first time, and so I was thinking, oh shit, this could be pretty bad. So I go for the Draco Meteor. I'm hoping to get <laughs> maybe a crit on the Dusk Noir. That would be awesome. And I don't get the crit, unfortunately. But it does a pretty good amount of damage regardless. And he goes for the Ice Punch. And I was like, oh, fucking shit, no. And he does a lot of damage, but doesn't KO me. And I was like, whoa, what, 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 lols? And he's like, well, I don't have max attack, uh, IV. And I don't have really max attack in the Dusk Noir, so that might explain it, but still, I don't have any, like, HP or defensive EVs invested in that Dragonite either, so, eh. Oh well, I digress. Uh, I go into Swampert now to take the Ice Punch, obviously, and this is really sucks, because I know a Will-O-Wisp is probably coming, as almost every Dusk Noir has a Will-O-Wisp. I don't think I've ever seen a Dusk Noir without Will-O-Wisp, I mean, you know. But there's nothing really I can do about it at this point. I pretty much know I've lost the game. And I'm just trying to do my best, you know, trying to see if I can make any kind of comeback whatsoever. I go for the waterfall. 
And here is where I really, I mean, I make a really big fucking mistake. I misclick on counter for some reason because I was being distracted by someone else in the room and, uh, not like that, you pervs. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just get, um, really, I make the biggest fucking mistake you could do. Use counter on a ghost type. Yeah, I would not recommend doing that, folks, because counter is a fighting type move and it obviously doesn't affect ghost types like Dusk Duskmore and... Well, if you didn't know that, now you do. <laughs> Don't make the same mistake that I did. I'm gonna pretty much embarrass myself on YouTube now, and everybody's gonna be like, Oh, look, Piopa, who's that? Oh, he's the fucking battler who uses counter on a ghost type. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what can you do? We all make misclicks. And he gets another crit on the Earthquake. He Earthquakes me and gets another crit, and that really sucked. As if the pair of fucking flinching wasn't enough, he has to get a crit. And uh, this is pretty much a good game for him now, because... Uh, Dragonite, I'm gonna go into, I'm not gonna use Draco Meteor because I figure if I get a crit maybe on something like Fire Blast, which is what I'm going with, then my special defense, special attack won't be, uh, dropped by two stages, and maybe, just maybe, I can KO some other things on his team, and maybe by some miracle reason, I can actually, uh, win this, but no, I think that's a bit, I think that's a bit, like, for hopeful wishing, and I go for the Fire Blast, and what do you know, to rub salt in the wounds, it misses, so eh, good game, Frog Runner, um, good battle, and congrats on advancing to round two. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. I'll upload some more later and maybe the rest of the playthrough of Soul Silver. See you later.